What we're going to show you is how to put on a second story, 36 inch window from inside the house. Um, and just a real quick summary of how this is done is we have two outside panels and we have a center panel. The center panel will be mounting the handle here to these two studs in the center by using two of the supplied wing nuts. We just tighten this handle up on the center panel. This handle is removable and reusable. So once this install is complete, we'll be removing it and using it for the next window. So we go ahead and pinch these up. The center panel will always have the two studs for the handle and the two studs for the mating wing nuts for the install. Okay, so we're tight. So how this goes up is the outside panel. Outside panel, we have two holes. These holes must face the center of the window. Okay, so there's a right and a left. This center panel also has two studs at the bottom. When this panel is installed from inside the house, it will be tucked into the header up top. And as you pull it towards you inside, these studs will go through these holes. And then from inside the house, you'll tighten up two wing nuts. The install is complete. All right, so what we need to do is we need the wing nuts. We need to open the window and remove the screen. Now oh, you're good. Maybe the screen comes out this way. No. What we need now is we need to install the two outside panels. Each panel takes three bolts. So I'm going to grab six bolts total. And on my knees, don't stand up, but stay on your knees, I'm going to slide three bolts on the right side and then three bolts on the left side. Just slide them in the track. The track has black marks. We want to place a bolt at each black mark on each end. Now the right side, three bolts. Some applications have two bolts each side. Okay, three bolts, three bolts. Now what we want to do is these two inside bolts are on black marks. Them black marks are exactly 12 inches apart. We want to maintain that distance so that the center panel will fit perfect. In order to do that, we need to take a piece of masking tape, we'll show you in the video, and we're going to put a tape on each side of the bolt on two bolts to keep the bolts from sliding back and forth. So I'm going to go ahead and tape them now. Okay, so what we did, if you see the black mark there, that's the center bolt, we have one piece of tape and we're going to place a second piece of tape. What that does is keeps that bolt in the exact position. Now over here, we're going to tape this one on that bolt, on that black mark. That's going to give us exactly 12 inches between them two studs. We just take the tape on each side. It's perfect. It's 12 inches, center to center. All right, what we need to do, since I'm right-handed, I'm going to be starting with the right panel. So I'm going to grab the right-hand panel. The right-hand panel has the hole towards the center. If you notice no holes, we have a hole here towards the center. This panel is going to be installed like this. So what I do is I always grab two wing nuts because you will drop one. We just take the panel through the window, back down on my knees, we tuck it in the top header, and what we do is we just slowly position it over the bolt, and then we tighten up the nuts. We start with the center bolt first, that keeps it from falling side to side. And the reason we're doing the right hand side first is I'm using my left hand and I'm not that good with the left hand. So when we put the last panel on, there's less room. So I'm much better 
using my right hand. So we tighten this up, we pinch it, we tighten up the outside one. And then we tighten up the final one. Okay, what we need to do now is we need to eyeball this panel to make sure that it is perpendicular. We need it to be a straight. So we're going to eyeball it, we're going to move it over a little bit, line it up with the edge of the window. That should look pretty good. Okay, we're good there. We locate the left hand panel. Left hand panel has the hole towards the center. We grab wing nuts, at least two. We slide the panel through the window. Back down on my knees so I don't fall out. We tuck it in the top. And we put it over the studs. Slight pressure holding it in. It's resting on top of the studs. Once we get a nut on, it won't fall. So we tighten up the center. Okay. Outside. And then the final one. On a two bolt installation, this is actually three bolts per panel on a two bolt. These two inside bolts will not be there. All right, so we got these pinched. We're going to eyeball it and make sure we're plumb. That looks pretty good too. Okay. Now what we need, we need two more wing nuts. This is the center panel. The center panel has the handle. The handle will be held here, hand at the bottom. So the process is, is this top is tucked into the header up top and we are going to pull this panel towards us. As it comes towards us, these two studs will go through these two holes and then we will take the wing nut and tighten it up. The only adjustment you might have is the distance from here to here on our window. So what we'll do is, I think we're pretty good, we're going to take this, we're going to slide it through, back down on the knees, Okay, and at the top, we need to make sure the center distance is good, and if you can see, it's perfect. We take it, we slide it up into the top, just like that, we pull it towards us, and you can see the two studs come through the holes, here, the two studs made it through. We'll do that one more time, I'll pull out, we're tucked in the top, we pull it to us, the studs come through, and we tighten up a wing nut. And tighten up the final wing nut. Okay, they're tight. Now we remove the handle by removing the wing nuts. This handle will be used on the next window. Okay. What we do now is we just shut the window, lock it, we're completed. It's that easy. Okay, to remove the upstairs insulation from inside the house, we're going to take the, the reusable handle, we're going to install it. 
two wing nuts, I'm going to tighten it up. Okay, we're going to remove the two attaching wing nuts that holds the center panel in. I got my hand on the handle with inward pressure so slight it will rest on the stud so we're not supporting any weight. Remove the two wing nuts. Okay, slowly push out, wiggle down, grab it. Bring it back into the house. We'll set that over here. And then we'll go in and we'll remove this panel again. We'll be using my left hand. Slight pressure so that the panel doesn't drop. It's rested on the studs. Remove the wing nuts. On the upstairs application, uh, no power tools are needed. Just use your hands. It's fine. It is important that you stay on your knees so that you don't fall out the window. I'm removing the last wing nut now. Slight inward pressure. Okay. And we just grab the panel, bring it in. We're going to remove the last panel now by removing the three wing nuts. And I just have very slight pressure holding in. It's resting on the studs. We just need to hold it so it doesn't fall off the studs. Okay, we got two off. Well, let's do the last one. Okay. Take off the stud and just pull down. Remove. Only thing left is to remove the bolts. So we come in, we remove the tape that we placed to hold the center bolt in position. Okay, then three bolts are out, three on this side. Okay, three bolts, everything is removed. We reinstall the screen, shut the window, we're finished.